today, we're remember Lee Elder for his many contributions to the world of golf. While Lee Elder was not the first African American to be inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame, nor the first to win on the PGA Tour, yet he holds a distinctive place in golf history which still resonates today. As a young boy, he faced life's most difficult challenges. One of ten children, he lost his father at age nine when he was killed in World War II. His mother died three months later. Elder bounced around between relatives and wound up living in Los Angeles where he worked as a caddy at a local golf course. He later enlisted in the military where he played golf while representing his country. And upon receiving his tour golf card, Elder finished 40 on the money list as a rookie. But Elder faced many insults and endured humiliating treatment. However, he refused to give up on his dream of making a difference and providing hope for others. Elder quickly gained notoriety as he was considered by many to be one of the best ball strikers that the golfing community ever witnessed. This belief was validated when he tied the great Jack Nicholas after 72 holes and forced five holes of sudden death before losing in the American Golf Classic. Some believed that he was Tiger Woods before Tiger was Tiger having a profound impact on African Americans who were interested in playing golf in the 70s. Unfortunately, the golf community continued to place obstacle after obstacle in front of Elder to prevent him from playing at Augusta National. It goes without saying that he was eligible under several categories to play at Augusta National but was prevented from doing so because of his race. The rules were regularly changed to keep Elder from competing. But finally, with pressure mounting, Augusta National invited the Elder to the 1976 Masters. Today, we thank Lee Elder for leaving behind a clear definition of determination. And we honor him for sharing his belief of never giving up on your dreams in spite of obstacles.